what's up guys learning with rich here um in this video i'm gonna answer a couple of questions from our uh subscribers so i'm assuming that they are already subscribers but if you guys don't yet subscribe to my channel please do so so the question from my uh channel here uh came from shabby let me just quickly show you so this is his uh, question. So he said, a very useful video and I have one doubt. How can create the ceiling plan in level 3 in this video? Okay, so the video that he is talking about is this uh, video here. Let me just quickly show you uh, this one. Okay. So this is the one. So Revit MEP 2020 step-by-step -step tutorial 9. How to link Revit model in the project we're in. I have shown this one and I also show how to create a floor plan. But I didn't show how to create a ceiling plan. So that's his question. So how to create the level 3 in the video. So let's say for example, uh, this is the building. So if I'm going to open here the elevation view like uh, the south elevation. So as you can see here, I only have a couple of level. Okay, so I have level 1 and level 2 here. Right? So on our link model, so it contains four levels. Level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. So on the video that I have created, and just show you just now, in that video, I have created a floor plan for level 10 level uh, roof. Okay, but if you want to create a ceiling plan, that's the question. So this is what you do. So you go to the view tab. And then it's the same procedure as creating the floor plan actually. So go to the view tab, look for the create panel and then look for the plan views and then you will now see here the reflected ceiling plan okay so it creates a reflected ceiling plan so let's say i want to create the ceiling plan for uh level two level three etc etc so just click the reflected ceiling plan and then on our reflected ceiling plan you just need to uncheck do not duplicate existing view so as you can see, it shows me only level 0 and level 1. So the reason is that I only have level 0 and level 1 on my uh, project. So that's why if you want to add a new floor plan or a new ceiling plan, so you need to add a level. So let's say I'm going to add a level here and then another level there. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to select the architecture tab. And then look for the datum. Let's look for the level. So just click that one. And then I'll just use here the peak lines tool. Click that. And then I'm going to click this level 3. And then I'm going to click the roof. There you go. Okay. And then after that, you go to the modify. And then you will see here on our project browser, there's a question mark. So if you are going to expand that, so there you can now see the two levels that I have created, which is level 2 and then level 3. Okay, so the numbering here on my model is uh, starting at 0 and then the next is 1. Whereas on the link model here, so it starts with 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that's why it's 2 and 3 because on my uh, project, my level starts at 0. Although you can just simply rename that one. You can make it level 1 and then you can make this level 2, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll just change that to level 1. Oh, sorry. So the name is already here. So I'll just change level 1 here first. So maybe I'm going to make this level 2 first. Whoops. Okay. So, oh, so there's already level 2 and level 3 there. Okay. So let us just make that level 4. There you go. So I'll make this level 1. Okay, and then the two levels that I have created. So I'm going to move it here. So this is uh, this is my level 2. So you can click that uh, square to show the bubble. 
so this is level one it should be level two so this one is uh, level three so I'm gonna make this five level five yes okay so so one okay so this will now gonna be level three yes this is now level two yes and then this is now my roof oops there you go okay so i have created additional two levels which is level three and then the roof so that is what i want to create i want to create a ceiling plan for level three okay so to do that so you go to the view tab go to the plan views and then look for the rcp the reflected ceiling plan so you click that and then just uncheck do not duplicate existing views and then you will now see here the levels okay which is i want to create a level 3 ceiling so i'll select level 3 and then i select here okay and there you go so just expand the coordination again there's a question mark and then there's your ceiling plan now make sure every time you create a view in your project browser if you will be using that for documentation so make sure you remove that question mark so how to remove that question mark you can't actually remove that but what you can do is you can make that disappear by changing the uh, sub discipline or discipline of the views under that particular question mark so on my level 3 one ceiling plan so if I'm going to uh, move the slider here you will notice there is no sub discipline on my level 3 uh, one okay so that's the reason why it's under the question mark so if I'm gonna change that to uh, let's say HVAC so I select that so it will now go down to the HVAC which where is that oh there you go right so there's my oh, no yeah so there's now my HVAC it's now under HVAC now I don't want to put that on coordination so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change here the discipline so I'm gonna make that mechanical and then again our level 3 now is under the mechanical and then under the HVAC it's not under the question mark anymore okay so now we have here level 3 and then the roof it's under the sub discipline question marks so I'll select both of this click one hold control and then click the roof and then I can change the sub discipline let's say I'm gonna put that under HVAC and there you go okay right so again you can just change the name here okay so just change your name and then there you go so that's how you create your ceiling plan for your level 3 so you can now proceed on changing the name so let's say for this one I want this uh, uh, let's say 2 oh okay this one I want that 5 and then this is my two. This is my one. Okay. And then this is my three. Let me just copy this, paste here. This is my three. And then this is my four or whatever ceiling is that okay so just make sure you tidy up your uh, drawings okay so basically that's how you create your uh, ceiling plan so the key here is make sure you are creating the level oops i think there's an issue here so this should be three ceiling yes and then this one should be what's this for I oh, know it's already duplicate okay let me just delete this one and then this one should be three 
Yes. And this one. Let's remove one. There you go. So let's tidy up. There you go. Okay, so again, you can just rename this. So the point here is if you are going to create a new floor plan or a new ceiling plan, so make sure you already have that particular level so that when you go to the plan views and then you create a floor plan or ceiling plan, so when you uncheck do not uh, duplicate existing view, it will now appear here. Okay, so there are some instances that you do not need to uncheck the do not du uh, duplicate existing views because they will going to be appear here already if you haven't created a ceiling plan or floor plan for that uh, level. Okay, right. There you go. So that's how you create a ceiling plan or floor plan. So same procedure. Okay, so now we, we have another question here. So let me just show you the question from uh where is that okay so let me just give you a snip okay so this is the question okay so from vic you so hopefully you are already subscribed to my channel so having found the clash detections in a model using navisworks so how can you transfer the location of the clashes to revit so you can rectify and update the elements so i already have a video wherein i have shown you how to use a uh, switch back okay so i think you can consider that one so if you don't know where is that video let me just uh, quickly show you the that video okay so I'm looking right now on my computer so where is that switch back video switch oh nope okay so let me just show you this so you can go to my channel and then look for switch back Yep, this is the one. So this is the one that I'm talking about. So you can check out this video so to learn how to use the switch back wherein you can switch your view to Revit. But I seldom use this one. So the procedure that I'm using instead of using the switch back for whenever I do a clash detection and then I want to check out that particular element in Revit, so what I do is I just get the element ID of that particular element and then I just search it in Revit. Okay, so that's the procedure that I do. So let me just quickly show you. So aside from using the switchback, you can also do this. Uh, oops. Okay, so let me just go here. So let's say this is my 3D view and then I will... Okay, okay, so let me just create a new project, a small project. Okay, so let me create a small, uh, let's say, uh, Archit Mechanical. Okay, so let me use Mechanical Template. Okay, so let's say I'm going to create a duct. Duct here, that one. Then another duct here. So obviously that's a clash. So let's say I have a number, another one there, another one here. Okay, so in 3D view, this is how it looks like, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, okay, so let me go back to the floor plan. Okay, and then I want to create another element here. Let's say pipe. So there's the pipe. And then another pipe here. Okay, so I'm just trying to mess around here. So let's say this is the model. So I want to export this model to NWC file so I can open this in Navisworks. So I'll just go to the add-ins. So make sure you are on the 3D view. Okay, so you go to the add-ins tab. And then external tools, Navisworks. And then... Uh, I'll just put it on the clash report. So this is my sample. 
and then I just select save here so Navisworks will export okay so now that it's already exported so I will go now to uh, Navisworks and then I'm going to append that so append where is my documents flash report where's my sample and then open so this is now the model so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run a clash test okay so I select the clash detective and then I'll create a new test so that's the test for rename so let's say this is for pipe versus duct duct there you go and then I want uh, duct versus pipes okay and then let's just run it so I have now three clashes here so what I do so after you run the clash detective in your project so you go to the report and then you create a report here okay so just make sure you include the item ID okay so make sure this is included to your selection here so you can select any contents that you want okay and then I'll just make it new and then uh, the text format that I'll be using just to save uh, more ink I'll just use text here in case you want to print that so that it's only printed in text format so make sure I item ID is checked report format text and then just select write report and then that's it so same location okay and then after that you can now go back to your uh, Revit and then you can go now to your report this one pipe versus stock so here you can now check out the element ID there you go okay so I prefer this one instead of using switchback so I just need to get the element ID just copy that one and then you go to the manage and then you look for uh, select by ID you can right click this one and then select add to quick access toolbar so that it will be added here on your uh, quick access toolbar so you can click that one and then you can now paste here the ID and then select show and there you have it so it will now highlight you here okay and then just select OK right so once you do that of course you know what to do so you can now move that away from a clash Okay, you can now move that element away from the clash and then after that same procedure save the file and then the export okay so that's what I do so I created the report here in Navisworks making sure that item ID is selected and then after I create the report I'll just go back again to Revit and then just open up the report here which is uh, this one so just look for the element ID and then after that you search it so you select that icon select by ID and then you paste it here control V and then select show so that's it okay so that's my answer for you Vic you on how can I transfer the location or how can I figure out the location of the clashes to Revit so I'll just use the select by ID tool okay so there you go so I just answered a uh, couple of questions so hopefully these guys uh, have been uh, useful to you so don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel okay so once again thank you for watching have a nice day